Welcome to our channel my dear students. Today we are going to discuss about the previous year that is last 10 years CBSC board chemistry questions part 5 in halo alkane and arene chapter in which we are going to discuss about the physical properties and chemical reaction based questions. The first question is why are alkyl halides insoluble in water? Why it is insoluble in water? Because alkyl halides are polar molecule. Water is also a polar molecule. But it should get dissolved but it doesn't get dissolved why this is because of that so the interaction the interaction uh, of alkyl halide alkyl halide and water produces some amount of energy energy it gives some amount of energy this energy is less than that of HOH bond breaking that is a hydrogen bond in water in water this will be very high when compared to this energy that is what which will not getting dissolved are you able to understand student here the interaction of alkyl halide and water gives some amount of energy that energy is very less when compared to hydrogen bond breaking in water that is what so this will not be occur very properly so that uh, it will not be dissolved in water that's the first reason and second thing is second question is explain why dipole moment of chlorobenzene is lower than that of the cyclohexyl chloride here it has the two reason one is here this CCL bond will be sp2 in nature but here CCL bond is sp Three in nature because it has a double bond here, here it has single bond so that uh, sp3 and sp2 in nature that's the first reason and second reason is so in general it has a double bond characteristic it's a partial double bond characteristic but here there is no partial double bond characteristic so because of this two reason this uh, dipole moment of a chlorobenzene will be very high very less why it is very less because if the double bond character is more in the sense bond length is very less bond length is very less in the sense so it has very less dipole moment are you, are you able to understand so that is what it has a very less dipole moment when compared to this thing are you able to understand one is a sp2 hybridization another one is a partial double bond character by this chlorobenzene but in the case of uh, cyclohexyl chloride there is no partial double bond characteristic that is what <coughs> It has a less dipole, chlorobenzene has lower dipole moment than that of the cyclohexyl chloride. And third question is very very important question. So out of these two components, out of these two components, which one has undergoes SN1 reaction faster and why? So here, now as we know that the SN1 proceeds with the carbocation mechanism or able to understand so here if suppose if I'm having a nucleophile or if I use the protic solvent the protic solvent will fix the CL CL etc so if suppose if I write the first compound that is a CH3 CH here CH2 plus if chlorine is left with the protic solvent the time I'll get this carbocation and this compound this is the first compound and this is the second compound what is the second compound CH3 CH2, CH here plus and here it is uh, CH3. So according to that degree of carbocation, here it is 1 degree carbocation, here it is 2 degree carbocation. Which one is more stable? According to our stability of carbocation, 2 degrees more stable when compared to 1 degree. So that this compound will undergo yes or no reaction very faster. And usually we know that uh, the degree of carbocation will uh, makes the reaction very faster. 3 degree carbocation will react faster and after that 2 degree, after that 1 degree etc etc. And fourth question is, write the structure of an isomer of uh, compound C4H9Br which is most reactive to SN1 reaction. Most reactive in the sense, SN1 reaction in the sense it should form 3 degree carbocation. So 3 degree carbocation. So 3 degree carbocation should form so that will be most reactive am I right so most reactive so 3 degree carbocation should form according to that if I use a compound 1 2 3 4 4 carbon atoms 1 2 3 3 4 carbon atoms so here uh, CH3 so here CH3 
square CH3, that is C4H9 is there and Br is there. So this is the compound which is most reactive in SN1. So because the structure of an isomer of compound, so normally, so this 3 degree compound will undergo most reactive to towards to SN1 reaction. Are you able to understand? So this is the structure of the compound. And uh, first one is very important. And uh, which one would undergo SN2 reaction faster in the following pair? In the following pair, uh, which one reaction is uh, uh, faster in SN2? So this was asked in the year of 2016. So how we can? So SN1 we means uh, we talk about the carbocation. So SN1, if it is a SN1, so carbocation should form. Okay, if it is SN2, SN2 what kind of mechanism? So there is no steric hindrance. There is no steric hindrance. So according to that, if we see, so which one is less steric hindrance? This one is having less steric hindrance so that this will undergo preferentially usually 1 degree and this is 3 degree. First we have to find out the degree. So if it is degree is different, we can uh, deliberately say that um, yeah, 1 degree will undergo SN2 very faster because of its less steric hindrance. Okay, this will undergo faster than SN2. And this, and second thing in 5 second category is both are 1 degree. How we can judge? This was asked in the year of 2015. How we can judge how which one will undergo SN2 reaction faster? So now <coughs> in this case we have to see better leaving group here fluorine chlorine bromine as well as iodine this will be a better leaving group so that this will undergo sn2 reaction faster in this category and uh, third question what is that ch3cl ch3 tricl which one is undergo sn2 reaction obviously this is one degree this is three degree obviously this one will undergo sn2 faster and uh, sixth question that is a which pair reacts faster in SN1. This was asked in the year of 2012 as well as 2013. So how we can judge? So in this pair, so we have to find out the degree. Which one is? This is 3 degree. And what about this one? This is 2 degree. So this is 3 degree, 2 degree. Which one is faster in SN1? So usually SN1 carbocation. So 3 degree carbocation will react faster. So according to our carbocation stability, this will react faster. And this category, second thing, uh, this was asked in the year of 2015. So, SN1 reaction. So, how it will be very fast SN1? SN1 need 3 degree carbocation. And here is 1 degree carbocation is formed. If it is, if we use the protic solvent, this Br- minus will goes with the protic solvent, both the H plates, uh, which forms the carbocation. That carbocation here is 1 degree, here it is 3 degree. That's what, this will be very fast in SN1. Are you able to understand student? So here, uh, thank you so much for watching. Please forward my videos to others to get benefit. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, one double. Thank you once again.